okay another proof now here i want to prove that if the product of two numbers is zero then one of them have to be zero one of the factors have to be zero so if the product of two numbers or two factors okay you can also call them factors if the product of two factors is zero then one of them have to be zero so what essentially we need to prove we need to prove that say a dot b equals to zero then then either a equals to zero or b equals to zero so to prove it i can also equivalently say that we need to prove uh, we need to prove that if a dot b equals to zero and let us take a as non zero then the only choice that we have is that b equals to zero okay so the only choice then we have is that b equals to zero and that's what we will try to prove now okay so that's what we will try to prove we will try to prove that in such circumstances b should e actually come out to be as zero so a dot b equals to zero is something we take as given okay so we have a dot b equals to zero so what we can do we can multiply we can make use of the inverse of a and multiply multiply on both the sides because this is one operation that we know is is accessible in this field okay this is one operation that we can operate okay so a inverse dot a dot b okay, equals to a inverse dot 0 right okay so what we can do is we can of course combine a inverse a uh, a inverse dot a which equals to 1 because a inverse a is inverse of a inverse is inverse of a okay and 1 is the neutral element so and the product with zero as we have learned for any number a product with zero will lead us to 0 and this will imply 1 dot b equals to 0 which implies that b should equal to 0 okay so hence we have just proved that if a and b a dot b equals to 0 implies either a equals to 0 or b equals to 0 in this case what we started off with we started off with taking b a as non zero and hence proving for b